We created the Everyday Hero Award because we thought it was important um, as part of our commitment to the community to recognize the not-for-profit organizations that do so much for the community, uh, but not only that, but the individuals that volunteer for those organizations um, that are the unsung heroes behind the scenes. And the four individuals that, that were selected to receive the Everyday Hero Award this year um, come from organizations whose missions are varied, but either way, their impact on the community is one that is significant. This year, which is the third year of the program, we received 19 nominations from 19 different organizations. So the selection committee here at Woodlands Bank had a very difficult task in trying to figure out, out of those 19, which four were the, were the recipients for the year. Krista Paternostro Bauer from the Paternostro Family Foundation, Joe Rauch from the Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Bridge, Diane Stanzione from YWCA Wise Options, and Max Mitchell from the Greater Lycoming Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity's mission is to put God's love into action by bringing people together to build homes, communities, and hope. We serve low-income families who are just at the cusp of being able to become homeowners but are unable to apply and be approved for loans through traditional banks. Max Mitchell is truly an everyday hero. Um, he gives of himself so freely and truly believes in our organization and our mission. During house builds, Max is there from 8 in the morning to 3 p.m. every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, he is a wonderful mentor on the build site and is one of our core volunteers. With Habitat, I'm right now working on the build project. This house started a year and a half ago from the ground up and I've been doing a little bit of everything on it from concrete to walls to the roof to kitchen cabinets to everything. Whatever that day job requires, that's what I do. Homes are important for people and it builds neighborhoods, it builds families, and I just like their mission. So. Uh, my favorite part about volunteering is work with other people. I mean, we get volunteers Saturdays from churches, from other industries, from all kinds, you meet all kinds of different people that way. And one of the best things I think is working with the homeowners. I mean, it's really, they have to put so many hours in on the job. And it's neat to see them coming in. They come in at first, it's just bare walls and studs and stuff. Then it starts to come together and start getting more excited about it. And it's just neat to see them oh, it's gonna be my house, and it's, they get excited about it. It's just neat to see that. Big Brother and Big Sister's mission is um, to provide children facing with adversity with strong, enduring, professionally um, supported one-to-one -one mentoring programs or relationships. Um, Joe, um, Ralph, um, he's been a great asset to Big Brother and Big Sister's program. Um, he came to us um, at a trying time in his own life. Um, and he still decided to become a mentor. Um, he's on his fourth match um, with Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Um, Joe's a go-getter, you know, he doesn't mind, you know, going above and beyond. And Joe also um, has a unique way of communicating with people. Um, he has a good sense of humor. Um, he's been a very good asset to our program. Uh, for me, volunteering, uh kind of came naturally uh, in my early 20s after having had a mentor in my uh, teens, my mid to late teens. Uh, made a big impression on me, huge difference in my life, really uh, uh, strong, strong um, role model. My favorite part about volunteering with Big Brothers Big Sisters is I get to be a kid again a lot of times, right? I get to play, I can play games, we can um, do activities, whatever it is. I get to teach uh, the young man things, but we also, it's a lot of fun just playing, right? We play ball, we do whatever. One of the things that is most important to me for feeding the uh, passion for volunteering would be seeing the uh, growth of, of a young person. I had a match in 1993. He was 13, he'll be 41 this year and uh, we're constantly in contact. The Paternoster Family Foundation's org organization, our mission, is to assist families who have come across a cancer diagnosis. 
and we do that in three ways. We provide harnessing hope bags, which are little gift bags that we give to families, and we, we provide financial assistance uh, to families. The last thing that we do, part of our mission, is to um, provide them um, two free head covers. Between her and I talking, Krista and I, um, and meeting, and sort of getting a good understanding as to what the two of us wanted to do um, in our community, it was actually very aligned. Um, she wanted to do some kind of head cover, couldn't find uh, a business or an organization or a company to create them, and I wanted to create them but didn't really know how to go about getting them out there, and then, you know, us two kind of putting our minds together and coming up with the K2 head cover program. I'm the social worker and patient navigator here at Hillman Cancer Center in Williamsport. I have the honor and the privilege of seeing the impact that the Paternostro Family Foundation has on our patients. When I present that Harnessing Hope gift bag, I'm the one that gets to see the tears in their eyes. To meet their financial needs is just an amazing thing as well. Because we know that the financial burden of the disease is sometimes as bad as the disease. My role is founder and chairman of the Paternostro Family Foundation. I was uh, part of my sister Cass's caregiving team when she was fighting cancer and she passed away very sadly one year almost to the day after her diagnosis and I knew at that point in my life there was no way I could just go on. I just knew I had to do something uh, to keep her memory alive. We started with our Harnessing Hope Bag program in 2014 and then unexpectedly lost my dad to cancer later that year. It was just another devastating blow for our family, but we knew that we had to keep going. And so in January 2015, we changed our name to the Paternostro Family Foundation. What really touches my heart are the thank you cards and letters we get, sometimes written in cursive on a piece of uh, plain paper, uh, people just sending their very heartfelt thanks for either getting our Harnessing Hope bag or being the recipient of our financial assistance program. It really, truly makes the work so meaningful. The YWCA's mission is to eliminate racism, empower women, and provide um, peace, freedom, justice, and dignity for all. Diane has really stepped up and she has been a phenomenal um, contribution to our organization. She's always willing to pitch in and, and help out at events and, and she's not one that comes to an event just to stand on the sidelines and help you know push carts around or carry food or she's always jumping in with the clients helping them get to their tables and helping the kids with their food and, and talking to them and laughing and interacting and that is such a positive um, contribution to our program because the women and the men that we serve come here at their most vulnerable state. I serve on the Wise Options Advisory Council. Um, I work in the boutique, which I love doing, lots of fun, and um, love volunteering at any of the activities that we have going for our programs here. The success that this program has had um, as long as I've lived in this community, it has been a community staple, a place of refuge, a place to grow, a place to work with professionals who can help these women and men and children who are attempting to reclaim their lives um, and literally empower them to make the choices they need to make. I think there's a lot of need for volunteers in the area. And when Woodlands puts this together, I think it highlights that. It lets people know that there are things that they can do to help out. It doesn't have to be, you know, five days a week and be an hour here, an hour there. And when you promote that, I think, oh, maybe that, that group would be a good one for me to work with. And I think it helps people be aware of the need for volunteers. Woodlands Bank Everyday Hero Award, I think, brings a nice awareness to organizations. Um, one of the uh, organizations locally here that I believe does not have enough awareness is the Big Brothers Big Sisters. We've talked to so many people who say they had no idea it was here. To me the Everyday Hero Award is just uh, I believe an amazing way to lift up the volunteerism and the spirit of volunteerism in our community. 
I mean, I salute Woodlands Bank for really being community-minded. My thoughts about Woodlands Bank and providing this award um, are, it's just amazing. I, I love that it's a community bank. We're not from, you know, some outside organization or community. It's Williamsport and Williamsport area. And for them to recognize individuals who are volunteering because it's the right thing to do is just amazing to me. And I am so thankful that they're in our community. We appreciate all that you do for your organizations. Uh, we appreciate your passion for the mission of those organizations. And we um, very much appreciate your commitment to these communities um, that you serve.